Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, in yesterday's video, we split up this image into three different sections, so we could have three different links on it. Sky, land and sea here. Today, we're gonna to do a similar thing. We've got another image here when I click on it. It's gonna open into a light box. And I've also put some little hotspots on the lighthouse and rock here that you can click on first one there will take us to the top of the page obviously you can put in any url you want second one will take us down to the middle of the page anywhere else on the image will pop it out into that light box really easy to do so let's get started i'm going to enable the visual builder okay once enabled let's go down to where we want to work i've got a section here blue tab inside i've got the row green tab two columns, column one, column two. Let's work on column two here. I'm gonna hit the little dark button to add a new module. I'm just gonna use a regular image module for this. And we'll choose our image. And let's use that lighthouse image again. That seems to work quite well. So there we are, we've got a regular image there. Down below, I'm gonna have mine open in a light box. If you don't want to, just leave it like that. You can just link your image with a URL to anywhere. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. But I want to open mine in a light box today. For anybody that doesn't know, that means when you click on it, it'll pop out into the full version and darken out the background there. Great. So we've got a our image there and it's going to pop out into a light box but I want to add a couple of hot spots here perhaps one on the lighthouse like we did earlier and one over here or wherever you want to put yours and you can add as many as you want to do that we're going to add a little icon module so I'm going to click on here I'm going to hit the little dark button there add a new module let's find an icon module and there we go and there it is just down below. As you can see, it's popped in an arrow there. I think I might like to have something like an eye or something like that. There's a lot of fonts to choose from. Divi has just teamed up with Font Awesome. So there's a lot of icons here. You can either do a search like I have done here. Let's just pop that in there. Or you can scroll through on here, or they've got a little button here. You can break out and it'll pop out into a breakout box. Make it easier for you to scroll. But there's a lot of scrolling. Like I say, there's a lot of icons there. But that eye is going to work for me. Fantastic. So let's put it up over our image now. And to do that, I'm going to use a bit of absolute positioning. So I'm going to go over to my advanced tab, still in the icon module here. I'm going to go down to positioning. I'm going to change it from default to absolute. And it'll pop up to the top left of this picture right here. There it is right there. As you can see, we've got a little grid or a matrix down below. You can position it where you want. I want this eventually to be perhaps on our lighthouse. So I'm going to put it on our right hand side. I'm going to make it the size that we want it. Then we'll adjust it and bring it down to where we want it. So let's make it the size and color that we want. To do that, let's go into the design tab. Here's the icon. I'm going to make mine white. Icon size, I want it a lot smaller than that. Maybe something like that. I think that's going to work. Something that will fit in my little thing there. Let's round it up to 25, perhaps. OK. So now we need to position it. So if I go back to my advanced now, we'll go to position. Here we are up at the top. We've got a vertical and horizontal offset. So we want to bring it down some. I actually want to do this in percentage rather than pixels. That way it'll look better on mobile and tablet. So let's try, I think that's about 40% down there. Let's try 40 and the percent sign. That is about right. And I want to bring it across perhaps 25%, 30%. I can do that with my horizontal offset. Let's try 25%. Almost, let's increment up and down a little bit and get it exactly where we want. We're exactly right there. But I think I'm going to make it just a slight bit smaller than that. 
so it's where we want it. Just to check, you can hit your vertical offset or horizontal offset, and this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing, you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little mobile phone icon, we can check how it's going to look on a tablet. Hitting the tablet. Let's roll on down. Yep, that's still in about the right place. And let's check it on a phone. There it is again. That's still in about the right place on the phone there. If I move this out of the way, you'll be able to see. I'm going to adjust it slightly, make it slightly smaller and take a bit of the opacity away so it's not so obvious until you hover over it. So that's going to work for me on pretty much all devices there. So let's flip back to desktop. And I want to go in there. That's our old one. Here's our new one. I want to go in there. I'm going to make that icon slightly smaller. I'll take it down to maybe something like that. 22. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to give it a hover state. So when we're actually not hovering on it, I want it to be paler than that. So I'm going to click on the color itself. Variegated slider on the right. I'm going to take the opacity down to, I don't know, quite a ways. So it's just barely visible there. Then when we hover over it, I want it to be fully white again. To do that, hover up over the dark writing. And again, this is common to all modules. If there's a little arrow there, there is in our case, we can give it a desktop state, which I'm going to leave it just like it is. And when they hover over it, I want it to be fully white. So I'm going to get our white. I'm going to bring the opacity right up there. So when they hover over it, it's going to be like that. When they don't, it's going to be like that. And I think I'll pull it maybe one pixel to the left. So back to advance and positioning. Now I want to do the horizontal offset. I don't know. I think it was actually better where it was. That, that'll work fine for me. Great. Well, there's our first one, but we've got to give it a link. So to do that, go to our content and there's link just underneath there. And put where you want it to link. I've got CSS IDs on my top section, my middle section and my bottom section. I'm going to link this to the top section. Obviously, you can link it off site or wherever you want to link. So mine's hashtag top sec. Great. Well, let's add another new module now and do the same thing. We can clone that one and just reposition it right there. So let's actually go back to our wireframe mode, be the easiest way to do this. Hit the little purple button. Hit the little wireframe icon here. It'll take us to the back end. And if we roll down, there's our image. There's our first icon. I can clone it by hitting the two little dots here. And we can just reposition it. We don't need to do anything else to it. So apart from add a new link, of course. So let's go into the second one here. I can flip back to desktop mode. Now I'm in there. And the reason I went to back end mode there is because we've done some absolute positioning, you on the front end might find it difficult to actually get to that object. So we got two, they're one on top of each other there. Let's reposition this one. So we can go over to our advanced tab and I'm gonna put this right on this little rock down here. So let's get the position up. And this one I'm gonna to flip to the bottom here. It's actually right there. Vertical offset, let's try 20%. I know it's difficult to see there, it's right about there. I'm gonna move it back across here with my horizontal. And let's say perhaps 5%. And that's pretty much exactly where I want it. It's right on the top corner of that rock. I'm not sure if you can see that at all, but if I move to hover state, let's just move this to hover state, you'll see it highlight. There it is. You can see it right on that little rock there. So that's going to work for me, that position right there and that little position right there. Just need to add the link where we want to take it. And I'll take this to the middle section now. As I said before, you can put it wherever you want. Use external, internal URLs, wherever you want to take your folks. Great, well, let's save this now. Save our page changes, go down the little purple button and expand. Hit the little save at the bottom. 
Let's exit our Visual Builder and go down to where we were working. There's our little image. If I click anywhere on this image, apart from on those two little icons there, it's going to pop out into the light box. There we go. If I click on any of those images there, the one on the lighthouse is going to take us up to the top. There we go. And the one that's sitting on the rock here, it's going to take us down to our middle section there. Simple as that. So there you go, guys. There's how to add some hotspots to an image. And you can keep adding as many as you want to put on there. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, put them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them or make a video demo for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.